Hello and welcome to Mr Ridley's Design and Technology. In this sheet we're going to just look at one of the NEA coursework sheets um, and this is quite a helpful sheet on showing development. So we're calling this sheet um, Development Gantt Chart and on here, this is a completed sheet, we've got a grid with hours, 16 hours going along here and then we've got tasks down here. And this Gantt chart is used to show um, project, this project management or show the movement in tasks. So we're going to kind of use it to plan out our making or show the making that we planned. You should have probably started making by now. Um, so what we've got here, we've got the task one. So task one here is the first task in making. So if you can read that, it says um, task one and we've got... Um, sand all parts, mark out legs using tri-square, steel ruler and pencil and then it says task 2, so that was hour 1 then hour 2, use tenon saw to cut first part of mortise joints and you can just see there all the different stages so how does it work? well basically here you write in a brief technical description what you, what you did or what you plan to do and then you work out how many hours it would take. So um, you can see here where we got down here to sand, this is for someone making a table. Um, you can see here, for example, where someone um, got to here, hour six. In hour six, they actually completed three tasks. So you can see one, two, three in hour six. And in that time, they um, sanded the uh, fitting joints for the stretchers, marked out parts for the tabletop frame, marked out and cut parts for the drawer from plywood. So they were all done in hour six. It may be that you took two hours to do something, in which case you would have two blocks that way. Um, and, and that's it. It's a very simple Gantt chart for building projects where you had different tradesmen, they might use different colours, but we're just going to use one colour. So... Um, here, here's a blank one and you can do this, you could write in it and we could just fill in um, fill in the things as you go along to plan but it is probably better just to do it straight onto um, this electronic copy just fill in these and then block in, you pick one of these squares and just fill these with a the colour so that is Gantt chart for GCSE NEA